get to know about the traffic on your way and what's news around the world today. Some wisdom skills along the way. Oh, and a song to hum along with and sway. Get your perfect entertaining start to the day. At 9 a.m. every weekday morning with Mahima's, Mahima's Good, Good Morning, morning Bay. आपके प्यारे महिमा के द्वारा माई सेल्फ फालतू बाबा एंड ऑफकोर्स माई सेल्फ फालतू रानी लेकर आपके लिए और ड्राइव टाइम शो दैट्स टोटली एक्साइटिंग एंड टोटली टोटली मस्तानी बंद जाने totally ब्रिज of 92 let's start one by one first of all disabled tractor on 101 southbound getting on to 92 manjan sanmate the right lane is affected for that watch out not much of uh, delay but yes definitely and similarly on the bridge manjan disabled vehicle on 92 westbound west of forest city boulevard it seems like as there's one of those movies where they kept all the disabled vehicles strategically positioned right the whole bridge is got in prison over there so there also was a report of one more vehicle over there on the bridge but it's being cleared by chp right now but high wind advisory is in effect on 92 eastbound and westbound speaking of high wind burjan i'll tell you uh, the whole today uh, it seems pretty cold right yeah if you're traveling uh, you know faldoni i have a view vista point for abandus to go check out today yeah if you guys are not working or you're working and you want to take a break somewhere outside this morning right now uh-huh. drive um, um montague expressway uh, going south going east okay east or is it east or west east i thought southwest right East. East. Okay, going east. That is going over ADD. When you're going over the ADD bridge on Montague, my goodness, what a wonderful view! You can see mountains with snow caps. No, it's only the place you can see. Otherwise, you can't see it. If you cross the portion or before the now, because you got to get to certain kind of elevation to see the mountains, the wonderful view. Check it out, the snow cap mountains. You wonder what snow really? Yeah, it was cold, but Jack, come on, it is going to be cold. It's going to be the lowest of 37, 37 degrees, and high is going to be maximum 52. Oh so so thing like right? erratic though the weather my goodness climate change man i'm telling you it's really bad but if you see some clouds now it's going to get burned up right now because we're already on air so baraba is like no clouds in the air but Huh. It might get windy in the afternoon, but the John, uh huh, and might get wind chills and everything. So the highest is going to go 51 degrees. So it's going to be really cold today. Layer up for sure. And tomorrow, probably, if you don't have an umbrella, invest in one. If you want one, come by because many people actually drop the umbrellas here and gone. I have around four umbrellas I can give out to people. <laughs> it's lost and found kind of thing. Unclaimed umbrellas I have here. I don't know come. what it is. People leave everything. Well, I mean, I don't know what thing after another. They leave their water cups. They leave their mugs. They leave their coffee mugs. They leave. Uh, Fast running. <laughs> if I talk about everything. I should also talk about the you know the, the pair yoga of, pants. The pair of yoga pants that somebody left behind. Uh, jackets. I, I, jackets, look, okay, yoga pants. Come on, who ever left it? Yeah, we what don't know. What are you guys thinking? I know. What were you, What were you doing? No, I have a feeling it's the kids, right? The allies who used to do oh, that. Whatever, that's then it's okay. Then 
I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll just come back from a workout and everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've also found sweatshirts and everything, Maljan. Yeah. But we always go and give it off to Goodwill, but this time, umbrellas, I can, I can offer to give to Abandus if we told you how not invested in it. It's a good investment to have always, Maljan. Uh, but I, I never carry umbrella. Do you know that? I have so many umbrellas at disposal. I don't carry umbrella. I always go out, get drenched, and come back and yeah. say, oh my God, I wish I had an umbrella with me. <laughs> there no. were the times when actually when I, when I was at school, my mom used to make sure I carried an umbrella with me. Huh? Yeah. You used to carry an umbrella? Yeah. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. I but thought you used to wear a raincoat and go. No, I used to carry an umbrella, but the thing is, I used to have to bring it back. So the best part is that the umbrella has to come out. I used to get drenched in rain and I'll say, I forgot to open the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And mom was like, oh, 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 good boy. Okay. Anyway, Bridget, I told let's go check out what's the <laughs> news for you guys. And our first party is ready with the news. She's like, unbelievable look she's got on her face. Like, I have a very sad look, Alta Baba. You have a sad look, Alta Baba. What is that? You know? Godiva is closing all of its stores in the United States. High time, high time. Godiva is overpriced. What? Overpriced? Yeah. I'm what sorry. are you Excuse talking? Excuse me, they gave milk chocolate a bad name actually. Godiva, I'm sorry What guys. are you talking about they there? They didn't even have proper employment for Godiva. They actually were automated machines. No, I'm sorry. All automated machines will be closing down so we get jobs actually come back to us. Well, Banjan, luxury chocolatier Godiva is getting out of the brick and mortar business. They're moving to an online business. The company is closing or selling all of its 128 stores in North America. Father, how often <laughs> have you gone to? Hey, well, let me, Father, please, but wait, wait a second. I want to ask you a very valid question right now. Mm. Father, how often have we gone to a Godiva? It's right have, here, right? Yeah, it's I right have, here in the Bay Area, right? Yeah. It's in San Francisco. Yeah, it's here. Ah, how often have we gone to a Godiva? For I haven't gone. Years, I've always I've known gotten, you. gotten gifts of Godiva chocolate. Wait, hold on. How often have you gone into a brick and mortar store of Godiva and seen and go? Ah, in the matter of ten years, I've I've known you. <laughs> yeah. Nowhere. That I've not even gone to the one. What is that? Uh, the uh, Girard Delhi. Girard Delhi. Yeah, I yeah. haven't even been to that one. Yeah. So yeah. She, so, but the point is, um, why <laughs> unnecessarily feel sad about things you don't have to feel sad because about? Because gonna have a chocolate. Hmm. Wow. Anyway, okay, let's talk hey. about something cheerful. Let's talk about something cheerful. The mittens, the pose, the social distancing. Well, they all have the photo of Senator Bernie Sanders at the inauguration become an internet sensation. Now, you know what he's doing? What he is, is now getting that to be part of a sweatshirt. Now, what is this? Well, Barjad, uh, let's tell you that a Bernie Sanders campaign store is now selling sweatshirts featuring the photo that inspired countless memes on the internet. And all the proceeds are going to go to a Meals on Wheels program in Sanders' home state of Vermont. Very good, Faltrani. That's yeah. wonderful. I think I have, uh, I have a very special thing for Abandu to check out today. Yeah, really? Uh, yeah, uh, you go on. Talk, share more about it. So, just story, please share more about it. So, the $45 black crew neck sweatshirt is made in the USA and union printed, Banjan, in true Sanders fashion. The sweatshirt seems to be um, as popular as the meme. It's currently sold out due to overwhelming demand, according to the campaign store website, which notes that it could take up to eight weeks to receive the item. Uh, Age Well, the largest provider of the Meals on Wheels program in Vermont, said on Twitter, it's blown away by the support for our Meals on Wheels program from the sweatshirt sales. So, oh my God, that's incredible. Right, Alta Baba? Yeah, and I want to tell you one thing, Faltwani. There's huh. two things that we should, people should know about. Uh, Bernie Sanders, look, actually has, uh, you know, got into our Indian thing as well. If you don't know about the Faltwani, I, I want to share something with our bandhus right now uh -huh. who are with us. It uh, was inspired from here. Right? This is where Bernie learned how to sit, huh? I guess so. This yeah. actually is a very famous Sholay photograph, but Jan, we have already learned how to sit in the three-wheeler. Oh. Uh, if people can see the photograph right now, it's right there. See that this portion is here, Jan. So <laughs> Bernie sitting there. But what, 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 one more thing was, there was somebody, one of our, uh, one of our, what, do you, what should I say, the uh, uh, press, right? Press uh -huh. is very interesting. Uh, they always are trying to be, uh, trying to keep things very interesting for us, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so here's what they did. The press actually went ahead and uh, took a photograph of uh, this person. Uh -huh. who was very very uh, you know disturbed that uh. it should have been him what yes who's that uh, Biden Really? They shot they shot a photograph of him from the White House. Huh. But he's saying it's supposed to have been my day. You know, guys, I have mittens too. 
statewide availability of uh, ICU beds, there was a little bit of controversy about that. There was a controversy, I was a little bit of confusion about how it works. Mm-hmm. Because there are businesses opening up right now, and the thing is the claim that, oh, why is the uh, Prince Sacrament opening up, right? Mm-hmm. When, uh, you know, the uh, ICU beds have gone, uh, you know, uh, below the knee. If you look at the availability of ice cream beds for the region, then we have all the numbers that come, right? Yeah. So it's very sentimental, that's not 10%. Right. Bay Area, which is the Bay Area region, which is the Bay Area, all the county universities are selling them already have 30% of them. So we need to be open up right now, what they're saying. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, well, actually, I'm uh, just breaking news updates on the cover. Uh, California health officials have ended the state's regional state of home order today, saying the latest protection for ice cream capacity, like you mentioned, allows you this applies to Southern California, Bay Area region, San Joaquin Valley, and um, the four-week ICU projections for these areas show enough capacity to exist in order to what is being said. And they're saying that the county will now return to something called the tier based system, which basically the county to call a system. Well, we are still in the property and you are not present in the middle of the state when they're the order by the state. Yes, uh, the, uh, it says uh, California is slowly beginning Which actually leads me to the next piece of news where uh, the U.S. House of Representatives today will formally charge ex-President Donald Trump with inciting insurrection in a fiery speech to his followers before this month's deadly attack on the Capitol, signaling the start of his second impeachment trial. Another big news that's coming out in terms of technology, uh, Bandajan, is that Google employees form a, um, a global union alliance from across the globe uh, weeks after more than 200 workers at the search engine giant and other units of the parent company Alphabet Inc. formed a labor union for the U.S. and Canadian offices. Now there are representatives from eight countries who have also come together. 
Um, in uh, some news from India, the government has permanently banned 59 Chinese apps, which includes TikTok, WeChat, and other um, uh, Chinese uh, uh, manufactured apps. Also, there is a clash that has happened. Manujan, Indian, Indian and Chinese soldiers are in, injured in a physical brawl near the Naka Lu in Sikkim. Um, uh, last week with several injuries being sustained on both sides even as the nine month long eyeball to eyeball confrontation uh, continues in the eastern Ladakh region despite several rounds of diplomatic and military talks. Disengagement has really not begun in that area. And uh, farmers, vaccines, national security and democracy is what President Ramnath Kovind's address um, uh, covered on the eve of republic day if you want to catch a transcript of that particular speech you can actually go to mediamahima.com that's all we have time for on this morning's good morning babe and the jump we'll be back tonight live at five on the pam pam show till then have yourselves a magnificent monday stay warm stay safe Hi, this is Farhan Asghar and you're listening to Radio to Hotties where the entertainment just keeps getting hotter.